So believe it or not, there are some iOS 17 features that Apple has kind of confirmed kind of throughout the last couple of months. And I kind of want to give a rundown of some of the most important ones that we've kind of seen so far. Now, one of the most important ones that I've personally seen is when Apple and one of the, I guess, like vice chairmen or whatever they were, like some person high up in the company mentioned that they are going to have to kind of, you know, do what the, you know, regulations of a country make them do. And what he, I think that person was alluding to was within the EU, there are two big things that were, have been kind of looming around the last couple of months or even last couple of years that are now taking a place and taking effect right now. The one thing is USB-C. This was probably the biggest thing that Apple is going to be making a change of visually from the iPhone 14 Pro to the iPhone 15 Pro. But another big thing going with USB-C is what features are the USB-C port going to have? In my opinion, if we take a look at the iPad Pros, we do have things like the ability of, you know, having, a, you know, another display almost. So not just mirroring our displays, but having another complete separate display from our iPhone or from our iPad to our you know, display. I think you know where I'm going with this. With our iPad and with our iPhones, I feel like Apple is going to do the exact same thing with the iPhone 15 Pros. They could give us that type of feature on our 15 Pro, docking it up to a display. And I think that would be a really cool thing. It's almost like, almost a guarantee. I feel like there's going to be some cool feature within USB-C for that. We're going to wait and see what happens, but I wouldn't be surprised if something like that were to happen. Another big thing going on with these iPhones is with side loading. Because that person, that high up person at Apple basically stated that we'll have to, you know, comply to the regulations, side loading is one of those things and one of those regulations they will also have to comply with. So just imagine that. Having the ability of actually going through and side loading apps on your iPhones, it's insane if we have that type of capability. And that in and of itself is something that I keep looking back at. And I'm so happy if Apple ends up doing some sort of feature set like that, that in and of itself is going to be amazing. And, you know, having USB-C and side loading, that's going to be insane. And the next two things are kind of smaller things I kind of wanted to throw in here as well. So you have the journal application. So it looks like there's been a few leaks that kind of show that there's going to be like kind of like a newer journal app on our iPhones. So it's going to be kind of cool. I think they're trying to do something like a Notion replacement. Like I'm not 100% too sure, but I've seen like some sample images or some like concepts of it. And it seems pretty cool. I would personally think that maybe an app like the Notes app could be good enough, but this is going to be like a Notes app, but a little bit more personalized and a lot less bland looking. So I'm really looking forward to that. And they did state that there's going to be updates to the wallet application as well. The wallet app has been kind of the same thing for kind of the last couple of years. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple changes that. And they also add like, you know, more banking stuff and Apple cart stuff, you know, for you to sign up for those accounts since they're, you know, kind of making more accounts associated with Goldman Sachs. So. In terms of that, it kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.